Hey guys, these are my predictions for the 2016 P1 AQA paper. Now, first of all, I do not have any insider knowledge. I'm not an examiner, I don't work for the exam boards, I don't know exactly what's going to be on the paper. These are just my predictions. But I am a teacher, I've seen lots of things happening in education, I've seen lots of trends, I've seen lots of patterns, and this is what I'm guessing, because these are just guesses, what is going to be on this year's paper. I'm doing loads and loads of these, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any, and share it with all of your friends so that they can have the information as well. They will thank you for helping to improve their grades. So, six mark questions first of all. Now, I can't, I half got the six mark question right last year. I said that payback time was going to be a really, really big part of the paper, but I didn't think it was going to be the six mark question. It was. So, I, I'm going to give myself half marks there. I was half right. This year, I think the six mark questions could be on a number of different things. The first thing I'm thinking it could be is transfer of energy because that's a really big topic and it hasn't come up a lot recently and when i mean transfer of energy i mean conduction convection radiation all sorts of things like that the surfaces where they absorb whether they're good emitters how we can get um turning from a solid to a liquid to a gas there's loads and loads of stuff they could ask in there but they haven't done it recently so i think that might be a big thing on this year's paper Another thing I think could be a big thing on this year's paper and a possible for our six mark question is renewable energies. Now the reason I put renewable energies as my possible six marker is because it's really, really trendy at the moment. There's a lot going on about it in the press. Um, we've just had the massive conference of parties over in Paris talking about how we can reduce climate change, how we can reduce um, the carbon dioxide that we release into the atmosphere and renewable energies is a really really important way of doing this and the exam boards like to reflect trends in real life so i think renewable energies is possible for being either a six marker or a really really big part of the exam paper something else they haven't talked about recently is the big bang there are lots of bits of evidence you need to know about the big bang the two important ones are redshift and cosmic microwave background radiation and how this affects to waves i think waves are going to be an important thing not just with big bang but talking about sounds and talking about the em spectrum and the loads of different things that you can do with waves now we've talked about the literacy, let's talk about the numeracy. Because 20% of your P1 paper is going to be on maths questions. And this isn't complicated maths questions, these are simple three part equations. And in P1 you're really, really lucky that there are only five equations you need. When we get to P2, the formula sheet is two slides long. But in P1 and P2, your formula sheet is going to be useless unless you learn your units. I nag my classes about this all the time, learn your units. I can't remember if it was last year or the year before, they snuck in the unit for specific heat capacity. And this is a hard one. It was always the one that everyone never bothered to learn. But it was worth one mark out of 60 on the paper. The other thing I think they'll do is they'll throw in some slightly trickier bits of maths in there. So, you need to know your significant figures and you need to know your standard form. Now, because this is such a big problem, I've written you a book, like a whole book, on how to cope with this and loads and loads of videos um, to help you work through everything. So I'll pop a link and you can get it from my website or if you want to, you can get it on Kindle. So this paper last year started off with energy transfers and Sankey diagrams and it was a small question. I think this year it's going to be a much, much bigger question because things they didn't ask about last year or are small questions on tend to come up again but as bigger questions. Because of the recent trend in the press, reducing carbon dioxide emissions, you're really going to need to know that bit well. I'm talking how do fossil fuel power stations work, how do nuclear power stations work, what is the effect on the environment, and how can we reduce it. So all about carbon capture and storage as well as the renewable energies. Okay guys, a lot, a lot of things for you to go over there. If you haven't started your revision yet, 
please, please start now and use this as a basis for your vision. But don't just rely to things that I've mentioned in here. Make sure you cover absolutely everything so that by the time we get into the exam, you're confident and you know what you're doing. You've all been working so, so hard and I'm really, really proud of you. You've been doing such excellent work. We just need to keep it up for a few more months and then you're going to have a fantastic summer. Remember, I'm here to help you anything that you need just get to contact with me on twitter or leave me a comment here and i'll reply as quickly as i can good luck guys i really really hope we're going to be happy in august hey guys thanks for watching i really hope you found this video helpful if you want to say thank you or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests or to deal with the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Connors or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.